Let's take a look at how to prepare a basic audio CD using WaveLab Pro 9. Go to the File menu and choose Create Basic Audio CD. Click on the Add Tracks button to add tracks that are, have been recently used or just to go to a file browser and browse on your operating system. All of my tracks have been added into my CD list and if I wanted to change the order, just drag and drop like so. Clicking on the arrow to the left exposes our track start, end time, and length of the file, plus our pause time. So by default it's set to two seconds, but if I want to change that value, I could double click and type zero, for instance. If I need to actually edit the WAV file, I could select the file here, click on Edit Audio, I could launch it in my sample editor, make the changes, save it, and then that's automatically going to be applied directly into our audio CD. We also have some options for cloning the CD list, as well as turning all of our CDs into one track or a CD into separate tracks based on the locators. I can check different options by clicking on the basic audio CD options where I could enter in my UPC code, set default and pause times, and some other functions. If I wanted to check the CD conformity, I could do that or just choose to burn the audio CD or create a DDP image directly here. For more control, you can actually click on the two audio montage and choose CD standard, and this will create your CDs all laid out for you here. So all the CD tracks. So if I wanted to adjust the volume, or conversely just do a fade out, I could just do this and edit my CD as one single entity. Many functions are found in this tool menu in the upper left hand corner. And by default, you notice that CD was turned on. If you don't see the CD tool window, go to your tool window here and just choose CD. So there's a number of different functions that you can have here. So one would be our CD wizard. So here, again, we can enter in some additional information. If I wanted to put in my ISRC code, my UPC code, we could just enter that data there. From our functions menu, we could also put in our CD text. So for the CD players, often found in cars, that will do the text. All that information can be put in there. Also additional CD metadata. And the ability to generate an audio CD report. So if I wanted to come here, we could just click right here and have an audio CD report where you could actually put kind of your company's logo, hit OK. And now it's automatically created this audio CD report that you could pass on or charge extra money for your clients. Now, once everything has been set up here with all of your data, you could see the different metadata. And when you want to burn the CD, click right here. And I don't have a CD drive installed on my computer currently. But at this point, I could choose to have it automatically write a DDP image. And this is often what's used for duplication houses. Or if I just wanted to write an actual audio CD, I could just choose OK. And at that point, our CD will be burned. So whether you want to do a very simple, quick, fast uh, CD preparation, you could do that. You can also use the audio montage to have more metadata and control of your CD as a whole. So as you can see, creating audio CDs in WaveLab is very simple and powerful. If you found this video useful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.